Hey everybody, welcome back to Hardworking Man. My name's Heath and today I'm going to show you a few things about the X-Tool S1 laser engraver that I really like. And the main thing being the fact that I can operate it. We had different laser tools that I just couldn't, I mean I guess I could have learned how to do it, but they weren't easy to do. I'm not a computer guy, I'm not a technology guy, but with this it's pretty simple. Here at Hardworking Man, we love giving stuff away, and this X tool helps us to be able to make cool stuff to give away. We teamed up with Outdoor Equipment Company for this giveaway. If you're the first person at each location that goes there and buys a lawnmower and says, We saw you on Hardworking Man, you're going to get one of these cups we're making, a set of these coasters we're making, and a Hardworking Man hat. You can't beat that, it's free. So to do cups or tumblers, anything round, you need to have a rotary attachment. We got the X-Tool rotary attachment, which we really like. It comes with these rollers installed, which you can use, or you can put the chuck in, which we prefer. So we've installed the chuck. I'll show you the little different accessories for that and how it works. So to use the rotary, you need to have your X-Tool laser raised up somehow. We've got the riser base on here, which comes with this platform. Initially, we had this in, or this tray. You want to take this tray out because if it's in it keeps that too high and the laser can hit your chuck with this removed it's not an issue and you don't have to worry about the surface underneath because you're not cutting through the tumbler so you're not going to be cutting up your table or marking up your table so one tip that we learned is to take this tray out now if you have this rotary tool and you're having some issues with it like maybe it won't spin or it's not spinning correctly one thing to check which you wouldn't probably think about is your connection of your airline and your wire between your air controller and your laser because it all runs through that. Don't ask me how or why, but we had ours where it wasn't spinning and it was because this wire wasn't plugged in correctly. So if you have any issues, check these connections, your airlines and your cable between the control box and the laser. You can also see we've got this thing vented outside. This was something I built for one of those standalone air conditioners. You want to vent your work or work in a well ventilated area because some of the stuff, PCBs and plastics or whatever's in the paint in these tumblers, it's not good to breathe. So this is an enclosed unit. It collects all that and it shoots it right outside so we don't have to worry about breathing it in or filling our house with smoke. Now X-Tool thought of everything with this rotary kit. It comes with a level, which we were always looking for a level with the other kit we used to use. It comes with the tape measure, which you use to see, you know, the circumference of your cups. It comes with different attachments for the chuck for different things. These, for instance, you can do a baseball with or round items. And then this you put on the end to stabilize those round items. This is the key to tighten the chuck. And then it also has this, which you can use to stabilize really large items. They thought of everything with this, and it's the most complete rotary system that we've seen. So when you're doing tumblers, a good thing to do is to get one of your old beat up tumblers that you don't use anymore and use it for practice. It'll show you, you know, sizing, which you can get on here, but you don't realize how it translates to the cup all the time. Placement, all that stuff, learning how to use it. So you're not wrecking a good cup. Another thing is all these cups we've done, they all tend to engrave differently. They all have different thicknesses of coating, different types of steel underneath. So taking one of the cups that you're gonna be doing and maybe using it as a practice or as a sample piece is something you can do. That's what we did, trying different things and seeing how we wanted our placement and how it burns on the actual cup that we're gonna be using. It costs you one cup, but you get a better product in the end. So now, especially if you have a cup that has a design or has a, any shape to it, you want to mark your center spot. We've got ours marked here on this cup and we'll place it in the chuck with that spot right to the top. So now when you place your cup in, we got our center mark right at the top. We're going to tighten this chuck. You want to make sure you have it tight against these bases so that it's square. Hold it in there and then we'll tighten this down. That'll hold that cup while it engraves it. You also want to make sure that your base plate is square. We just took a square piece and we squared it up right off the laser. Another thing you can do with this X tool is use this laser as a device to make sure that you got your cup where you want it because it shows you where the laser's at. Now, like I mentioned earlier, taking that base plate tray out is important because when that's in, this here can hit this part of the laser when it's running and that'll mess up your engraving. But with that plate out, this all sits below the laser. So you're good, you got good clearance and you're ready to go. 
So here you can see we've got our OE company logo and our hardworking man logo and they're next to each other. We measured the space in between to put them on opposite sides of the cup. So we're not going to have to do these cups twice. We're going to do it once and it's going to print both sides. We've got it set up for the stainless steel coffee tumbler. We've got the diameter or the circumference of the cup put in there. It's 10 and a half inches. And we've got the rotary attachment with the chuck. So it's all set up and ready to go. Now we're going to hit the measuring tool or the distance tool. And this X tool is going to set itself at the correct distance to engrave this cup. So we have our laser positioned where we want it to start. We'll hit auto measure. It'll move. It drops this probe, touches that. We'll move over to the back corner to the reset spot. Reset it, come back, and now it's set at the correct height for what we need it to do. So then when we click on each logo, we can come over here to the easy set panel. And then that's going to give us our power setting, which we have at 50%, our speed at 200. We got it set up for one pass, grayscale gray bitmap mode, 300 lines per centimeter. So it's going to be a really high quality engraving, bi-directional engraving mode, and it's ready to go. All right, you can see the red X here on the screen shows where the actual laser head is positioned. And then it shows where the two logos are. Now we're going to hit the framing button right here. That's going to show on the cup where it's actually going to do. So now you hit this button and it's going to put the laser into position and show where it's actually going to be printing these logos. Because we're printing both, it's going all the way around the cup to both sides. You can see that our height is good where the top's going to be and we're ready to laser engrave this cup. So now we'll simply hit process. We're going to close the lid on the X tool. It says it's going to take 28 minutes to do these two logos into the stainless steel tumbler with our current settings. We'll click start. It's preparing the file, sending it to the X tool. And then when we're ready to go, we just hit this button and the laser engraving begins. there it is it's all done engraving the cup and it doesn't look too great right now once you're done engraving you have to take it and you have to clean this all up we like to use the mr. clean magic erasers it cleans it up nice and it should leave us with a nice silver sort of tinted hard-working man and outdoor equipment company logo I'll go get it washed up and then show you guys the finished product so there it is all cleaned up you can see how it's sort of faded down and that's because this cup isn't perfectly flat and so as the laser gets further away, it engraves it less. We could have turned the power up just to make this a shinier silver, but we sort of like the way that looks, so we went with it this way. All right, now that the cups are done, another part of this that we have to make on the X tool are the coasters. We've done coasters before, but I'm going to show you how you can do multiple coasters at one time. It's super easy. So we put the tray back in and now we've got our honeycomb. We don't need it because we're not cutting through, but that's just for the height. Now we're going to place these coasters in here. All four of them, we've got them here lined up along the bottom so we know they're in a nice straight line. Now we're going to mark each coaster individually so we can print four with one pass. All right, so we switch this to process on base plate because we're no longer using the rotary tool. Then we pick the stone coaster. It's got the settings all set up for it. I distance measured it 1.527 inches that's how it's setting right now on the platform with the honeycomb under it so now what we're going to do is we're going to click start marking then we're going to click rectangle because we got a rectangle here or a square so now it's set up to mark a rectangle so we'll place the laser here on the top left corner of our first coaster press the button move the laser down to the bottom right corner press the button again now that that first one's marked we'll hit end marking 
And then we simply go over here and start marking the second coaster. Top left corner, press the button, move the tool to the bottom right corner, press the button again, and then we'll hit end marking. Now as you can see we've got two coasters marked, we've got four, so now we just repeat that process. Now you can see we've got all four coasters marked. Now they're all a little bit different size because these coasters have different printable surfaces on them or engravable surfaces. So we're going to hit done. Now we just take our hardworking man logo and we're going to place it in each one. And it shows you when it's centered. So right there it's centered on that one. Now we're going to right click on that, copy the logo, come over here, right click, paste, and we've got the logo again and we can center it up here on the next coaster. So now we just copied and pasted that logo into each of the coasters. Now we're going to just click process, close the lid, hit start, then we'll press the button and it's going to print all four of these coasters in one pass. So we don't have to keep redoing it and putting another coaster in, doing one at a time. You can do different shapes, different items, all different stuff in here. It's pretty cool. You got to have the depth set or the distance set. So you want to have the same thickness of item. But as you can see, you can print all these at one time. There it is, just over eight minutes and we've got four coasters ready to go. The possibilities with this machine are endless because I am not a technology guy and I just did all this myself. There's so much more you can do with this. If you know what you're doing when you learn this machine, you can make your own stuff. You can make stuff to sell. You can start a little side business with this. Like Adam from Hometown Acres, he's doing his signs and making a bunch of money. We sell some of this stuff on our hardworkingmanoutdoors.com website. Some of the coasters, some of the, we'll have some cups on there and we've got a sweet deer antler plaque that Rachel made. Check that out. Check out the X tool. This thing is by far my favorite. It's easy to use. It's user friendly. You don't have to put little spacers in to measure. You can do multiple items at a time. Like this thing's awesome. I love it. Thanks for watching Hardworking Man guys and have a great day.